Hello everybody, Spike here. Uh, just a little reading I want to share with you guys. This is uh, an article that was in the Los Angeles Times. Uh, it's titled, California's Historical Overhaul of Cash Bail is Now on Hold Pending a 2020 Referendum. Reporting from Sacramento, a landmark law to abolish California's money bail system has been put on hold until the voters decide, decide its fate in November 2020 after elections officials after elections officials on Wednesday certified a statewide referendum backed by the Coalition of Bail Industry Association. Uh, election officials have verified more than 400,000 signatures to qualify the referendum for the ballot setting the stage for a campaign battle between bail companies fighting for their survival and state leaders who have pledged to protect indigent criminal defendants from unjust incarceration and fees. Uh, Senate Bill 10, signed by Governor Jerry Brown last August, was stated to go into effect this fall. It will give judges greater discretion to decide who should remain in jail ahead of trial and eliminate the payment of money as a condition of release. A practice that critics say traps defendants in cycles of debt and even if they have not been convicted of a crime. Bell groups fought the legislation since it was first proposed three years ago saying it would result in the release of violent offenders to the streets and disseminate a two billion national industry two billion dollar national industry including three thousand two hundred bail agents registered in the state a day after Brown signed the law, a national coalition of bail agency groups launched its referendum drive, raising about $3 million and collecting more than enough signatures to qualify the measure in just two months. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole article. It's, it's kind of lengthy and it just goes over a lot of the same information over and over. Uh, this I mean, this it just goes to show you. Uh, there are people that uh, earn their money from citizens being arrested, and and a no cash bail system ideally would be uh, presumption of innocence until proven guilty, which is something we see very little of anymore. Uh, all you have to do is be accused. Uh, your name gets put on the news, it gets splashed around YouTube, whatever. And most people assume that you're guilty. They, they, most people don't give you a reasonable doubt. I, it's just how, how life is nowadays. Uh, uh, anyway, these, these bail bondsmen, uh, they, they charge you a, a fee even if you're found not guilty. So here's an entire industry hoping that you will get arrested. And, uh, but even the, I would invite you to go research this, this, uh, bill. Uh, it started off very, very good. It, it had, uh, American Civil Liberties was behind it. Uh, a, a lot of, uh, civil rights, uh, I can't think of the word, <laughs> uh, groups were, were behind this bill, but then it, it Ultimately, when they amended it to get it passed, uh, it gives a lot of power to the judges. And we all know that judges don't always use what is fair. A, a judge is a one person with a lot of power. And unfortunately, uh, power corrupts. Uh, I, I don't know that this is the answer. I don't know if this would make things fair or not, or even better. I do know that it won't hurt my feelings if, if the bail bondsmen go out of business. Uh, I remember in Illinois, uh, a bond was simply 10% of whatever 
the, the crime held. And so if it was a $10,000 bond, you had to pay $1,000 and you paid that directly to the courthouse. Or, and then they released you. So I don't know if that was in a better system or not because once the court gets their hands on your money, they are going to go to pretty much any length to make sure you don't get it back. So uh, that, that in itself causes trouble. I, I, I don't honestly know what the answer is. Uh, maybe this is a step in the right direction. I guess we will see uh, in next year uh, what the voters have to say about it. And, uh, but the, that Bell Bondsman Coalition has said they're willing to throw everything in their arsenal at it because they know if they don't, they're not going to have a job in California anymore. So they've got nothing to lose. And that's all. I uh, just want to make a quick little video about this. Uh, I hope everyone has a good afternoon. And uh, happy Fuck the Cops Day twice on Tuesday, right? Bye, y'all.